tracking enemy tanks and providing their coordinates. That is what 19-year-old soldier Mikita is doing on this day. He is an aerial scout with Ukraine's armed forces, but started as a combat medic after Russia invaded his country. I've been studying in National University of Ukraine, of Bogomolets, and the territorial defense I have gotten to because of a very lucky accident. I asked my teacher, how can I help? Maybe you need some help in the hospital. And he told me, no, we have everything fine, but I have a friend who organized a medical center. The VOA team met with Mikita in the town of Shevchenkova, which was liberated in September. Ukraine's usage of high-precision projectiles against Russian occupiers left the city relatively intact, while tactical medical courses helped save lives. American volunteers help us so much. We have volunteer, instructor, tactical combat, casualty care. Makita's first taste of war came with rescuing civilians in the Kharkiv region in May alongside combat medic Kristina. Our occupiers, our enemy, was very close. There was shelling and one old lady got a serious spinal injury. When Mikita found her, he realized her spine was broken. He immediately and correctly figured out what had happened assessed the danger, chose the exit route. Basically, he saved her life, and thanks to him, she is able to walk now. Like Nikita, Kristina always knew she would join the armed forces. Originally from Ivano-Frankivsk, she worked at a hair salon in Lithuania, but returned to Ukraine just before the war started. I took off all my possessions, packed a backpack and applied to join the armed forces as a combat medic, right on February 24th. Makita is determined to keep fighting for as long as it is necessary. I am already six months non-stop on the front lines. And when I'm like, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to work. I just think about what occupants and terrorists are doing with our civilians, how they murder our people, how they torture them, what they do with our women and our children. This gives me power. It's a very powerful weapon. After the war ends, Christina plans to return to her work at a hair salon. Mikita hopes to resume his studies in neurosurgery and continue saving lives. Anna Kostichenko for VOA News, Kharkiv region, Ukraine.